Alright, welcome to this tutorial. Um, it's going to be my second one for Tile Layer Pro. I'm just going to go over uh, scenery tiles, how to edit them and get them into Tile Layer Pro so you can edit them and put them back into the ROM. And I might go over the special graphic files real quick too. Um, first things first is open up one of your ROMs. and then go to either a room that has the certain tile set that you want or change the graphic set to um, whatever one you want to edit. So in this case we'll edit the first tile set here in the landing room just the normal criteria tile set. To do that go back into your graphics editor Okay. now remember <laughs> the palette that you see here is the palette that's going to be used for criteria tile sets, all the um, tile sets for there. The graphic set 2 that's red uses the same exact tiles as this but it uses a different palette because it's all red instead of the normal terrain looking ground. So <clears throat> let's export that palette so we have it and then also we're going to need to make a scenery GFX file. Now you can also make the CRE file which is this right here. This top box before you get into the criteria tile set, but the thing that's in every room. You have your doors, the uh, missile recharge stuff, your blocks, and then the Chozo guys, and also you can change your, just like you change the item animations, this would be how you change your missile, super missile, power bomb animation, and also the glowing Chozo ball that you get for item pickups and stuff. But, back to what we were doing. So once you did that, you're done with this. You can close smile if you want. I'm just gonna be nice. <laughs> then go back to your Tile Layer Pro. Now open that uh, graphic GFX file. If you're using the regular version of Tile Layer Pro, you won't see .gfx or GFX. What you have to do is go to Type of File, click down, and go to All Files here. I have a special patch so it just automatically sees it, but you just have to go down to all files and then you'll be able to see them. So find the one that we needed. I believe this is it right here. Open. And you'll get that, which looks like a really big mess. Even different than the code because it's only two different colors. And if you notice, our palette's only two different colors. So to fix that, you have to go up to View, Format, and change this to SNES. Now we got actual tiles you can see, but we can tell the colors are still messed up. So now we need to go palette, load, and load that palette that we just took. Okay, that palette was already loaded, but anyway, now you have to also remember if you go to Smile and all the different palettes that are located in there. I'll show you in a second when it loads. Okay, this top row is one palette, this bottom or next row is another palette and so forth. And then you can tell when you look at tiles in this 16 by 16 um, editor, when you scroll down and say you find a criteria tile, or tile that you really wanted to edit, say you wanted to edit this piece right here, you can tell, see the fours tell you that this particular 8 by 8 tile, this one, this one, this one, I'll use tile 4, this palette right here. And then you can also change what palette they use just by clicking them, but this is getting into <laughs> the graphic editor tutorial but I'm not doing that right now so back to this we have say we want to edit this tile or these kind of tiles we know that they're going to be palette 4 so go back tile layer pro you won't be able to know the number but you can press up and I believe it was this one right here you can check just by looking at the colors that you see and then going back and that's pretty close I think that's it yeah and then now you can scroll down and there's our tiles right here now if you notice, there's not very much room to add new tiles to this particular graphic set, which means a lot of times whenever you're going to do um, tiles, most of the time you end up replacing them unless you completely repoint the graphic data to a new location in the ROM, in which case you have an extra graphic set and then you can delete all this and start from scratch. But most of the time you're going to want to keep some of them, but not all the time. But the trick is, or the catch is that there's only a certain amount of room and right now it's pretty much packed to the top. So if you go down to 
I don't know, this right here, which is just pretty much a blank space, and add a tile, it'll most likely go over the limit that was previously there, and then you're overwriting stuff possibly, which isn't good. So, for the most part, you're okay if you decide, okay, I don't need this pipe because I'm going to maybe use this one, even though this one doesn't have the same shading, but say you're going to compromise and you want to make a new tile, so you're just going to use that pipe for everything. You could change this into whatever kind of tile you want. Now, just for demonstration here, you can also, to save room, if you know you're going to have a tile that, let's find something here that we're not going to use. Uh, that's not really that important. Uh, let's just take like a quarter piece right here. And then you make something that's symmetrical, meaning maybe it's like that, and then there's like a light green outline. Remember, this first color right here is transparent, so you can just put that everywhere. And a lot of times, I like to just take that color and make it black, so I remember. Because um, remember, as long as you don't re-import the palette back in, you can change these colors to whatever you want. But back to what I was doing. So you have like a dark green, and then like a light green, and then maybe you fill the inside with this. This is going to be a nasty looking tile, but <laughs> all right, there's your two second tile that you made. Now instead of going through and taking four different pieces and making them all pretty much the same thing, just rotated like that, just save the one tile. So you save it and go back to your graphics editor. Now here's the great thing is that you can save as much as you want and it won't mess up your ROM or anything because it's not back into the ROM. So you can kind of, you can even switch graphic sets, you can, or the scenery files, you could like make a cool one and then put it out as the GFX file. Somebody else can download it, put it into their ROM without having to redraw your tiles or anything like that.